This is easily one of the best iPhone apps that I have seen in a long, long time. It's this one right here. It is called XLocker and it allows you to hide apps, also lock apps with a passcode or face ID. So if we wanna open it, of course we need to enter a passcode. But when I enter the passcode, there it goes, it's just a note taking app. Now that's the fake passcode that this app offers, which allows you to open this fake app instead of the real app in any times that you might need to actually just avoid opening the app, you can do that. But if I try to open it with the real passcode, then it will open the real app. And here's the app, it allows me to protect any app I want. I can lock an app with a passcode or face ID, or I can simply hide an app from the home screen. So there we have Facebook right there. There it is on the home screen. Now we can add it simply by tapping the plus button right there. You can see all the different categories of apps. You can go ahead and pick any app you want here. So let's just go to social here. Let's try another one here, Messenger, and click done. And we have the list of apps here. Now if you tap on the three dots, you can choose what you want to do. If you want to protect it, you can choose whether you want to lock the app or hide the app. So let's just go with hide. And now when I enable this, it will actually hide Facebook from the home screen of my device. And you cannot find this app anywhere. If we go here under the app library, search for it, you won't be able to actually find that app at all, which is really awesome. Even from the spotlight search or anywhere you search, that app is simply gone from your device. And once we wanna give the app back, simply go ahead, turn it off there. And there we go, there we have Facebook right on the home screen. But you can also do something really cool, which is actually schedule when you want the apps to hide or lock with a passcode. Now to do that, all you have to do is go into the app, tap right here on the app that you want to hide, tap on the three dots, and you can see right here we have scheduled mode. If we tap right there, you can choose immediate, which means that once you enable this, it's immediately gone from the home screen, just like you saw right there. And you can also choose time limit, which basically you enter maybe one hour there and it will be hidden for an hour. After an hour, it will appear again or protect as scheduled. You can go ahead and choose any time frame you want here. You can set sunset to sunrise or maybe choose your custom for every day. So you can see every day of the week, you can choose your own custom schedule and hide or lock that app during that time. Now let's just go ahead and try also the lock mode. So if we go to protect mode here, go to lock app and right here, let's just go and turn this into immediate protect and enable that. You can see now it is actually locked and we will need to actually enter the passcode in order to open this app, which is really, really awesome. Now, as you can see right there, this app actually utilizes the screen time feature of iOS to actually achieve this, which is really, really amazing. And the app is free to download. And if you download it right now, you can actually get it for free with the full features. If you go here, you will get the update section right here, I already updated, but you will get it right here at the top. All you have to do there is go ahead and choose the one-time purchase and it's at $0 right now, currently as of today, probably it will be paid in the next days, but currently it's free. So go ahead and take advantage of that and get this app fully for free. And right here we'll also have the options for the password protections. These are to protect the app actually. The password you just saw right there, you can change it here. And this is the fake passcode, which you can of course enable. And once you don't wanna open this app, you simply enter the fake passcode and it shows just a fake note app. And right here we'll also find advanced settings where you can block adult content, installing or deleting apps and installing in-app purchases, basically purchasing in-app purchases on your device, which is really cool. And above here, you can also customize the icon of this app. So that's basically for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe for more if you did. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and I'll see you on the next one.